I say, this is econ, this is econ, this is econ, microeconomics, this is, wait, uh, miss? Yep. I was supposed to introduce myself now? Yes. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I forgot. Uh, okay. Okay, so, hello, my name is Asian Al Castillo, and I wrote my rap about one of my classes, or one of the midterms for my classes in economic theory. I'm sure that's what it's called. But basically, it revolves, this rap revolves more on, like, supply and demand, a bit of equilibrium, and also a bit of elasticity. Okay, then. And with that, I'm going to start my rap. I say, this is econ, this is econ, this is econ, microeconomics, this is econ, this is econ, this is econ, this better be easy, this is econ, this is econ, this is econ, microeconomics, this is econ, this is econ, this is econ, this better be easy. Just a bit like mathematics, except with the focus on businesses with different perspectives. You gotta think like producers, consumers to get it, each with their different relationship. One direct, the other inverted, so getting specific. The law of demand is when Q sub D equals B minus A times P. This is how we get demand curve D. As P price rises, Q sub D quantity demanded decreases that the slope is negative yet when looking at the law of supply arises a positive line as producers we see things differently as p rises so the skew sub s we are trying to sell the most at the highest prices that is the law of supply this is econ this is econ this is econ microeconomics this is econ this is econ this is econ it's better be easy this is econ this is econ this is econ microeconomics this is econ this is econ this is econ it's better be easy there is cash though as there can be market failures if the price is high then there will be excess supply because of the price the demand is low that is market failure we call a surplus the opposite happens if the price is less the quantity supply decreases but because of the price the demand is more we end up having what we call a shortage this is the part where i say there's more to it as there's this thing we call equilibrium it's the intersection of the demand and supply curves this is the point where we want to be in ultimately this is the law of supply and demand now i hope it's easy to understand also this is something fundamental to have in mind this is how to make the econ test easy that's right this is econ, this is econ, this is econ, microeconomics, this is econ, this is econ, this is econ, this better be easy. This is econ, this is econ, this is econ, microeconomics, this is econ, this is econ, this is econ, this better be easy. So here's one last thing before I go, the topic of elasticity that I must show. It's a topic different than what I have told, though it is something that we all must know. This concept addresses how quickly the market reacts if there is changes to their products prices. E sub P D price elasticity demand the percentage change Q over delta percent P. Once we get this, there are a few things to consider. E sub P D has a range from zero to hundred. If it is less than one, then it is slow. If it is more than that, then it is fast. If equal to one, then it is indifferent. If infinite, then it is perfectly elastic. If it is zero, then it is perfectly inelastic. There is more to it, but this is what time permits. This is econ. 
This is econ. This is econ. Microeconomics. This is econ. This is econ. This is econ. This better be easy. This is econ. This is econ. Microeconomics. This is econ. This is econ. This is econ. This better be easy. Fire today. That's what you chose. You chose violence. This was dope. How do you feel? Uh, it was pretty fun making it, to be honest. Yeah, you're a, you're an excellent songwriter. Thank you. This is so cool. You did so good. So tell me a little bit about your process. Like why you selected the course that you selected, um, the beat selection, and and um, your writing process. Okay, so let's see. I guess I could start with my lyrics. Okay. So these are my lyrics I have. So funny mm -hmm. enough, I've like for a while since like probably since I was a kid, there was one specific song that was like. If I ever have like the ability to, I'd rap over it. And it was this song called Get Your Shine On by Birdman featuring Lil Wayne. And I found that song through like a game. So, you know, as a kid, I was playing it and you're like, this is the one that I'll probably rap about it. So when you assigned the, basically the individual presentation for it, I was like, I could use another song, but I want to use something fun. So I chose uh well that when i mentioned get your shine on by birdman and funny enough uh there was a class that i have economic theory i think that's what it's called and mm -hmm. i realized that the chorus i could probably make it sound almost like the original one with this is econ and the original is get your shine on so like this is it <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, from yeah. there <laughs> and then from there i just did the verse try to sort of mimic the original but i try to like make it sense to what we're actually talking about in the class so, right you did really good with that so yeah although so another thing is that I chose to like actually write out the equations which might sound a bit or might be a bit difficult to understand if I'm reading it but yeah that's probably like the only issue I had with my lyrics but it yeah, was but it sense how you did it makes sense because if you think about the construction of a song and the way that we remember songs right we're going to be saying them so if you're if you're memorizing this for an exam and you have to come up with uh whatever formula you need it has to be written out in your head yeah. you know it has to be written out in your head so it, it makes sense to do it like this because when you're playing it in your head it's not going to look like words. It's going to look like you writing the formula down off of the words that you're remembering. Yeah. So this worked yeah. really, really well. Writing it out was a smart idea. Like making that the lyric was a really smart idea. OK. Uh, uh, what about the, the course selection? Why did you pick the, the econ class to do? Well, because I had a midterm on there. And you know, I was sort of not really struggling in a sense, but I wanted to make sure I understand this like fundamental aspect. I even, I think, wrote it that it's a fundamental thing to have in mind because from what I learned, like later on in the econ class, it revolves around this like fundamental topic. So I was like, right. I need to know this for sure or I could do well on the test midterm. Yeah, and, and the basic, like the basic uh, ideas that you have here within economics, right? It's very adaptable to other situations, right? It's very intersectional. So like, I've used some of these um, concepts within our, our lectures, right? Uh, the supply and demand chain, like we've talked about that. Um, the supply and demand uh, curve is very similar to the um, education versus um, employment curve, right? So, uh, so these theories are also very adaptable. So even what you did here is useful for other types of classes and learning other types of things. So using the using a course that you are struggling in is ideally what I prefer people to do, um, but it's harder to do. 
So you really tackled that. And I, I really appreciate this project for it. Tell me, you started talking a little bit about it, but tell me a little bit more about this project's usefulness as a study tool for you. Oh yeah, so something I, well, practice when doing this is, well, making sure I know how to write out the equations. Like mm -hmm. I remember in a previous class of high school of mine where one of the tasks was to make sure to write out how we write an equation because we will use Google Forms and there's like no option to use equations like mm -hmm. to implement them. So these parts were like Q sub D equals B minus A times P. It right. was pretty useful skill to learn to like actually write out equations in that. And also the topics I discussed, the market failures, surplus supply, mm -hmm. I mean shortage, you know, these topics, you know, they help in understanding some of these fundamental aspects elasticity and mm -hmm. also because of the time there's also like a little hint that there is more to elasticity but time right. yeah because there's like elasticity of income cross price elasticity all that stuff so yeah that's how it's like helpful economics interesting in the way that he did this is really really well done um so if you had some advice for future peers doing this project what would it be well, uh, I'd say have fun, don't stress much about it. And probably like choose a song that you like vibe to. Like don't just choose like a song that's maybe popular or sort of easy mm -hmm. to say the least. Like one that you want to do. Cause I'll be honest, I wanted to like make a rap with this instrumental. Oh, you wanted to make a rap with the instrumental anyway? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Well, good. I'm glad you got to fulfill that. Okay. That's awesome. That's really dope to know. Well, good. You did wonderfully with it. So uh, do you have any questions for me? Uh, no. Okay. Um, I'll go ahead and end your recording now. So just give me a second to do that.